Hi, I'm Jared Stein, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new OpenShare modification for Moodle 1.9, which helps you turn Moodle into an Open Educational Resource, or OER, publishing platform, simply by letting you open or close all or parts of a course. Now, Moodle is a learning management system, and we'd like to think that these sort of closed environments have advantages, kind of like this biosphere picture. But too often, they become these rusty cages that trap teachers and students and learning. So we wanted to look at Moodle as a learning management system and figure out some way uh, that we could open up courses or even just parts of a course. Okay, you can open all or just part of any Moodle course anytime. This could be a live course during the semester that it's offered. And the students don't need to mingle with the public unless the instructor desires. Another approach would be to duplicate a Moodle course or courses and open those courses up to the public, thereby further separating the open courses from the live courses. And a third approach would be to simply duplicate an entire Moodle server and offer the open courses with self-enrollment on that second server. To get the OpenShare mod, and remember, it requires Moodle 1.9, go to the following address, flexnology.learningfield.org slash add-ons slash OpenShare. The first step to installing and using OpenShare is to download the OpenShare zip file, unzip it, move the OpenShare folder into the blocks folder of your Moodle server, and then as an admin, click Notifications in the Moodle GUI. Come into any course, and the first thing that we need to do is turn editing on so that we can add the OpenShare block. Okay, once that's been added, we do need to first enable it in the OpenShare block. Now we need to license and open or close all of the individual pieces of our course. And we do that by coming to the OpenShare block and clicking on Open Share Modules. This interface lets you select all the resources or activities in the course and change them to open or closed. And yes, you can do this for the entire course, but you can also do it by activity type or resource type. Keep in mind that the OpenShare mod allows you to determine how non-class members access these modules. Both of these are done through Moodle's course settings, so let's go there now. The first method is by enabling guest access. That's under availability. You want to change do not allow guests in to allow guests without the key. Now guests come in as anonymous users. They can access resources, but Guests have no identity to the system, and they're not able to take quizzes or interact in discussion forums or submit assignments, even if you have opened those activities. Now, the second method is by allowing self-enrollment in the course. And you'll notice that the default role is set to be open learner. This is something that the OpenShare module adds. Unlike a registered student, the open learner role can only see resources or activities that you have marked open. So with this method, open learners who self-enroll can take any quiz that you've made open, and they can interact on any discussion forum that you've made open. They can submit assignments that you've made open. Of course, because these users have a special role and are grouped away from the regular students, as a teacher, you never have to look at an open learner submission. If you have a class with fluctuating student enrollments, you'll want to click the Update Group Members link in the OpenShare block every once in a while in order to push registered students into the right groups so that they can access the closed resources. This is a feature of the OpenShare mod that we hope to automate in the future. Okay, to recap, here's what you need to do to set up OpenShare. First, download and install the OpenShare block. Second, 
enable it in the course or courses that you want to use it. Third, within those courses you'll need to license and mark each resource and activity as open or closed. In order to allow the public to access these open resources, in course settings you'll need to allow guest access or open learner self-enrollment. You can allow both, but remember, if you're allowing open learners to self-enroll, make sure that the Moodle server allows new account creation or self-registration. And finally, update course members after new enrollments have been added to the course. This is just a good way to make sure that your registered students have access to everything that they need to. That's it. Teachers and students should now be able to access all materials in a course, and guests or open learners can access those that you've marked as open. Let me end by talking about some of the planned features for upcoming versions of OpenShare. First, we want to generate RSS feeds at the course and at the server level. So at the course level, this would mean an RSS feed that includes all open activities or resources. And at the server level, this would probably be an RSS feed of any course that has open content or updated open content. We want to adapt the OpenShare group and groupings to automated enrollment systems. This will ensure that new registered students automatically have access to all the resources without the teacher having to click Update Groups. We're going to hide the OpenShare group and grouping from teachers, and this will ensure that no confusion and no mistakes are made in other group or grouping settings. We want to control what role or roles can license and open resources and activities. And this would be at the admin level, so he might designate a particular role called editor, and only they, perhaps, can license and open resources and activities. We want to allow admins the right to add or delete open share licenses. So maybe you have a particular license for your institution that you want to use. We want to let you add that to the system. And probably most prominently, but also one of the most difficult features, is to provide an easy way to export open course materials. This functionality may be similar to the course backup feature that's already in Moodle, but we would like a way that would be interoperable as well. For more information or to provide us feedback or bug reports, check out our website on flexnology.learningfield.org slash add-ons slash openshare.